Our first guest is a very talented actress who's up for her second Emmy, playing AFC Richmond's biscuit binging boss lady on her wonderful show, Ted Lasso. Seasons one and two are on Apple TV Plus now. Please welcome Hannah Waddingham. <laughs> My goodness, look at you. I feel like we got the memo. We certainly did. You're a lot of woman. Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> My goodness. Now, we know each other. We do. Yes, because... I'm a guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race UK. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's I mean, right. I, I was giddy as all hell about that. Yeah. Were, I can't tell you, I was like, oh, God, I'm here. Were you haunted by it at all? I, well, I was slightly haunted by the fact that I decided to, that that was the day to run out a pink, pale pink latex rubber dress. That's right. How do you get into a pale pink rubber dress? Bottles of talc. <laughs> Very carefully. Very carefully. Yeah, yeah. Would you wear that again? Hell no. No. <laughs> it's because of you. I was like, if I'm going to trot this look out, it's going to be once. <laughs> yeah. Do you, are you, uh, like Michelle and I, are you a, a, a manic shopper? I mean, do you shop a lot? Um, no, I, I think because, you know, my mama and I'm always so busy, when I get these little moments, I dress kind of glam for work as Rebecca Welton, so when I'm at home, I'm kind of comfy. Yeah. But, I mean, to come on your show, I was like, got to bring out the big guns. Well, it, you looked great. You looked great. So, <clears throat> you're, you're nominated for uh, your show again. Yes. Have you? <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Have you chosen the outfit for that? We're just having meetings about it. Meetings? Meetings, yes, yeah. What to go with, yeah. It's a, <clears throat> it's a massive privilege to even be in the blooming room. Yeah. So I want to make sure I, I get it right. Well, Michelle and I were there when you won your first one. With me talking nonsense. <laughs> do you remember it? Do you remember? The, no, the, the... in my head it was... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, you look great. You, 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 were, you were eloquent, or as Michelle would say... Eloquent. Eloquent, eloquent. yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you were statuesque and, and beautiful and shocked. You were shocked. Oh. You didn't think you were going to win. Hell no. Really? I genuinely thought, when he said my name, I, then, I thought that they had got to the end of the list because I'm W. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like a meerkat. I was like a bleached meerkat, just going... <laughs> <laughs> if you look back, I'm literally like, what was that? Yeah. yeah. And you said a naughty word on television, didn't you? I'm English. Yes. <laughs> you know, it falls like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have no idea how much I'm controlling myself all really? the time. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I no. come from theatre and I'm English. You're lucky you get anything but that. I love it. I love that. <laughs> you know, the, the show Ted Lasso is so genius because, you know, our cultures are different. Americans are very optimistic. Very different, yeah. Very different, very optimistic. Yeah, we're ha as grey and white as the sky. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. I'm glad you said it. Uh, has the optimism of the character uh, Ted Lasso rubbed off on you? I would say, I mean, particularly with my girl Juno, we are naturally sunny, half-full kind of girls anyway. Yeah. So not so much, but I think it is definitely rubbed off on the British community. Yeah. 100%. And I think universally, globally, I feel like we had got into the habit of always roasting people, and that's always what... That's the funny thing. Right. Instead of celebrating people, and that can be funny as well. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> that's the American way, you know? Now, uh, now, because of this show, obviously you were a stage actress for many years and you'd done some things, but now because of Ted Lasso, you're doing all these movies. You're in the new... Uh, Hocus uh, Pocus. Hocus Pocus 2. Too. Yeah. That's great. I mean, 
serious brownie points with my just about to turn eight daughter. Wow. So yeah. she's familiar with the other one. Oh my, she's obsessed with it. She's obsessed with Kathy Najimy going, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was as well. And I, I was kind of summoned to the set to meet this glorious triumvirate of witches. And I sat with the three ladies. Uh, uh, Bette Midler. Bette Midler, Kathy Najimy and Sarah Jessica Parker, with them in their costumes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And I was literally sitting there like a co competition winner. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, am I allowed to ask you what role you're playing? I don't think I so. I don't think so. I mean, it's a blink and you'll miss me second spear carrier from the left, but it's an important <laughs> one. <laughs> important. And you're, there are some of the girls from Drag Race are in this movie. They are. Are, are, you, are you allowed to say if you're in scenes with these girls? I'm not with the girls. I know what they do, okay. and they are... <laughs> I mean, seriously. Now, listen, I know you've done a lot of shows on the West End. I'm particularly interested in a show you did many years ago. I did not know that Rod Stewart had a jukebox musical and that you were in it. Yeah. I played Satan, as you do. Oh, as one does, yes. In a head-to-toe black... Yeah! Wow. wow. That's how I look in my head all the time. <laughs> But I wanted to do it because it's meant to be Rod Stewart's, you know, kind of view of Satan. It was the most amazing music with the most amazing voices. But the funniest thing was we were doing a show, um, like a, um, uh, a thing for the Olympics, and there was Buckingham Palace down there, Admiralty Arch there, and myself and Rod were standing on the stage. And he started sort of saying to me, you know, how's your acid reflux? Being a singer, sometimes it's a problem. And he's giving me advice on, you know, what you can take for your stomach <laughs> to settle it and not hurting your voice. And I was like, nobody would believe that I'm having this conversation with Rod Stewart. Wow. <laughs> Alice down there, me dressed like a lunatic. Yeah. And yeah. in that devil costume. But that's what, that's what happens in theatre. It's, it's the glamorous with the very not glamorous of talking about antacids with Rod Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> now, of, of his hits, what songs did you sing? Um, oh, God, what did I sing? Are you a big Rod, Rod Stewart fan? I love Rod Stewart. I am. But yeah. my, my favourite ones weren't actually the ones that, that I sang. I mean, I did the tonight's the night. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. All of that, all of those songs. But the, the ones I loved were like, Hot Licks, oh. Wearing Me Out. Yeah, I, I loved you know, it. My favorite, I love, I love um, Some Guys Have All the Luck. Oh. You know that song? And there's a, he has a song called Love Touch that is fantastic. It's from yes. the movie Legal Eagles. Yes, it Probably was. Probably not it in your in show. It. No, it was in it. It a was. Bit. Wow. But I also loved, they, I had, um, the I don't wanna talk about oh, yes, it, beautiful. Yes. But we did it in a in a different way, kind of trying to lull the main character to to follow me with the fruity, sexy, yeah. satanic ways. Most American, <laughs> most American audiences don't know that you sing. You're beautiful. No, singer. no, yeah. I know, I know. Twenty two years knocking about on the West End stage and Broadway, and yeah, so it's. <laughs> <laughs> I've been given, a, like, in my mid-40s by you guys, so thank you. I feel like I've been given a second lease of life, trotting me out to the, you know, out of the paddock in a different way. Well, listen, you know, uh, Joan Rivers used to say that her grandmother told her to um, hold on to your spoon because dessert's coming. This is your dessert time. <laughs> but it feels like that. Yeah, it, it is. Like that. This is. This is it. This is, yeah. this is really great. Yeah. Hey, listen, we, we're going to talk to you some more about things. Yes. All right, more with Hannah Waddingham after this. Yeah. Darling Deborah. Rupert. My sincerest condolences. Oh, didn't think you were coming. Rebecca Paul's family. No, I mean because you weren't invited. It's lovely to see you, Rupee. <laughs> and introducing Diane. Oh, what a chubby baby. <laughs> Congratulations, Mother. You've just fat-shamed a baby to tears. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. I'm here with Hannah Waddingham. That, of course, is from your show, Ted Lasso. Now, uh, we, American audiences recognize him from these coffee commercials that used to be here, the guy yes, who plays Anthony your actor. Head. Yes, he's brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. and I have to say, people won't realize this, but when you have somebody like him playing such a brilliant, toxic part, 
they better be a lovely person in real life, and he is that in spades. Love it. Now, yeah. that was at your character's father's funeral. Yes. And shortly after that scene, you sing a Rick Astley song. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. When Jason Sudeikis said you're going <coughs> to Rick roll at your father's funeral and do it as a eulogy, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to what? And I actually tried to get out of it, and then I was kind of... I tried to break it down like I would with a song for a musical, like I did with Send in the Clowns in, yeah. in a little night music. I tried to make it into just the words because I'm not... A Rebecca needs to not be interested in the music or the singing of it. Sure. And as a singer, I didn't want to acknowledge the singing of it. Yes. So, yes. yeah, it took a bit, of, a bit of time for me to knock that... You know, we're not strangers. Yeah. Oh, love. I love that song. So oh, I love that song. No, I love Rick Astley. I love Rick Astley. Did, did he see it or did he... Yes. Speak to you he about it? He saw it and he put a video out saying, thank you so much for using my song and I love what Hannah did with it. And I was like, you know my name. <laughs> <laughs> He's a massive, massive icon. Is he as much here? Well, to me, he is. is he? He, he, my favorite pop song of all time is, is his song. And oh. we're talking about all time. Yes. It's called Take Me to Your Heart by, by Rick Astley. Oh and God, I just, I, I love it. I listen to it all the time. In oh fact, I was told that the show has a surprise for us, that we can roll a tape or something. There's a surprise. I just want to say hi. I also want to say a massive congratulations to both of you on your Emmy nominations. <laughs> well deserved, by the way. Uh, and also, Ruth, I also want to say, Take me to your heart. <laughs> Never make go. If you knew what I'm feeling, you would not say no. <laughs> That's good to both of you. <laughs> well done, guys! <laughs> wow! You know what that is? You know what that is? Emmy nominees and Rick Astley. <laughs> Emmy nominees. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, amazing. It's oh my crazy God. that, you know, we, we, this kids, we, we grow up, we want to be in show business, and we, we wish into fruition this, this idea of, of doing this, and it's crazy, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, absolutely. And to, to think that we... The lovely thing is, it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're here or in London or whatever, we all just have this mutual appreciation that then oozes out onto the people that watch it, and it's like reciprocal. Yes, it's, it's like an energy source. Good energy. Yes, yes, yeah, I love I it. I love it. What what else do you want to do in your career? What you've do, you've, you're doing movies, you're doing TV, you've done theatre. What else yes. you want to do? I mean, I've got a little little thing going on at the moment. Okay. Yes, which you know, classically, I can't talk about. Uh -huh. but very exciting and something that I've wanted to do for so long, and now is definitely the time to do it with, with me kind of straddling two different worlds. Sure, yeah. And now I'm going to stop talking. OK, well, no, my guess is that it's an album of some sort. Do you have albums out? I don't. You don't, but we will probably be getting an album <laughs> soon. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I love, I love, you know, I, I came out to Michelle as a theater queen about seven years ago. <sighs> and because I was always a little um, embarrassed about it, because there's just a preciousness about theater. Yes, there you is. Know. Yeah, a stuffiness. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there is. But did she not fully see your little sparkly shoes out the bottom <laughs> of the curtain? <laughs> I mean, I knew, I knew. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Yeah. Came out to her as a musician. I, 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 I did. And, you know, uh, I was a little ashamed of it, you know. Um, Why? Because, because of that preciousness. And I, I didn't... Because I didn't want to have to take it too seriously. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Well, you know who are huge, what we call West End Wendy's? Yes. Brendan Hunt, Coach Beard. Jason Sudeikis, Ted Lasso. Uh -huh. And Brett Goldstein, probably the most grumpy man in the world, Roy Kent. Wow. Yeah, like, more that they know more about musical theatre than I do. And the first time Brett and I ever met, no word of a lie you can ask him, at the first ever read-through on the first day of season one, he squared up in front of me like the hottest stalker you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> and was like, I've literally seen everything you've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you're talking about uh, Ted Lasso. It came out a few weeks ago that this will probably be the last season. Well, yeah, but I don't know why that's come out so fervently, because we don't know that for definite. Mm -hmm. But what I think has come out is that Jason always said that there was a beginning and a middle and an end, at least, perhaps, to this story. Sure. You know? So, who knows? I hope not. I mean, I literally want to play her until she's walking on a frame. Oh. <laughs> I do. I, I feel like she's my pal that I want to honour and I want to walk along with her longer. She is a great character. You so just is. love her so much. <laughs> now... <laughs>
such a great character. I love her. Fingers crossed, if this is the last season, fingers crossed there's a movie coming, hopefully. Because oh, you're yeah. filming right now, right? We are, we okay. are, we are filming. And even if we left it at this, you know, Jason has pointed out that that's just where we leave them for now. Sure. It's like if you see friends and then you don't see them for a while, they go off and they spin and they do their thing. And that's how I'm going to have to think about it, otherwise I'm going to be a terrible mess. Because I get, it's ridiculous that I already get emotional about yeah. someone that's fictional. Yeah, I get it. Because I feel her rippling through my we bloodstream. We all feel her, and thank you for that. Thanks, Hannah. Now, Ted Lasso is on Apple TV Plus right now. We'll be right back with This Week in Unnecessary Censorship. <laughs>